Morning everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm stoked for today. We're gonna be hauling some solid manure. We got the pile in the back behind the corrals and that's just the straw pack manure and the manure that we take off of the concrete behind the feed bunks in the winter time. And uh, that's kind of our stockpile. So I'm gonna start spreading that now since we've done our barley silage and we got some acres of land that we can spread manure on again. So case loader, MX-285 with the Bunning manure spreader. That thing did have a PTO problem during silaging, but that should be cleared up now. And uh, mechanic Brent also went ahead and fixed our manure wagon. Some of you guys probably remember we broke that off right at the end of cleaning the corrals out this spring and he got that fixed up. He put some more braces on this front section here to hold it up, painted it bunning green again, and we should be good to go. So looking forward to it. I enjoy hauling manure. It's a smelly job, but growing up on a dairy farm, the smell stops bothering you pretty young. So now we're just letting the equipment warm up right now and then we'll start filling that wagon. That's our first load, just doing a quick walk around the wagon, make sure the tires are uh, got enough air in there. Everything seems good to go. we had the rye on the stuff that we chopped we got the other quarter over there of rye and we're gonna be combining that pretty soon here I think we're gonna swap that field tomorrow or the day after but the goal here is just to put it on light we did put all the liquid manure here last summer and you can definitely see there's quite a bit of manure still on the soil that's that liquid manure completely dried up and uh, there's quite a bit of organic material on this land as well we bought this land last year and the guy who was farming it last year spread the uh, straw over it too. So there's a lot of material on this field. It is really light and sandy soil. That's why we keep putting manure to it. But I think this is gonna be one of the last coats it gets for a while. So we're just gonna put it on light. We don't wanna put it too heavy because it already has so much manure. And uh, I think that pile that we got there at the yard is gonna be perfect for this field. A little rainbow over there. That shower just missed us. But another reason we're putting even more manure on the field here is because we want to cultivate it. It is pretty rough and we've got to do a little bit of light tillage out here to smooth it out. So the more manure we can put on this sandy soil before we break it up, the better. It's just going to prevent it from blowing more. Well, that's what we were hoping not to see. The PTO is not engaging again. Same thing that kind of happened during silaging. Mechanic Brent did uh, switch a sensor on here. So figured that was the problem, but obviously not. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So it's, you know, it's, that's the hardest thing to fix on a piece of equipment when it's not consistently messing up. Just turn the tractor off and then on again, see if that helps. You know, the old uh, Nintendo Cure. See, and then it fires right up again. 
What the heck? Hopefully it keeps going. I just really hope it's not going to stop midway through pushing a load out because then that menorah will plug those beaters and uh, it's not fun to pitchfork those beaters out. Just pulling up to the fuel tanks, gotta grab some diesel. And that also, of course, gives me an excuse to grab a coffee. Gonna take a quick break from hauling manure and sort the Corella steers out. We shipped a load out of this corral not too long ago, so we gotta move some younger ones over. Dad's already there. Get these gates closed up. I gotta chase these buggers out. Come on. Yep. Hey yo. It's never too easy to chase a Corella out by yourself. Hey. We got him out anyway. Excuse me. Little ranger red heifer over there. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Crazy boy. So the guys we got in the alley here are going back into pen four and then the two pens here are going to Corel five, sizing up. It's graduation day for these boys. Yo! Come on little buddies. Hey. What do we just do? Sort of steers over. From one corral to the next because we shipped a load. They like each other, they're riding each other. Look at that, they're happy. MS 2023. <laughs> Me and dad just did those steers. Look at all the moisture that's seeping out of here. Didn't take too long. I just told dad, no, it's pretty dry. That's all stuff that was frozen. We piled it up over the course of winter, but I guess the moisture's still in the pile, so that sucks. Hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess, specifically going down the road, but we'll see how it goes. The loader's definitely gonna get dirty.
Well, that's gonna be our last load for the evening. It's uh, about eight o'clock now. Got some other stuff to do yet, so. Bring this out to the field. We'll just leave the loader here, and then I'll drive this in front of the barn there by the shop, and uh, we'll maintenance this thing in the morning. Hit it with some grease before we start hauling again. That bar right there belongs to my manure wagon. Huh. That's not good. I left the gate open, so I'll just slide it in the back here, drive back to the yard and uh, pull up to the shop, I guess. Better make sure we don't forget about that and turn the beaters on or something. One kind of concerning thing is, uh, I noticed there was two missing on the wagon because out to the field I noticed that bar laying on the ground. So I watched our chain there go for the entire cycle and there's two bars missing but I only found one so far so there's another one somewhere. If I had to guess I'd probably say in the field that's the roughest part that we're driving on. I don't know as long as it's not on the road. Let's see if it stayed in there on the way home. Excellent. So, so tomorrow morning, before we start, we'll have to uh, put those bars back in and then tighten that chain up a bit. I think that's why, probably because it's slacked so low. When you go down the road, it jumps quite a bit maybe, and uh, that's where that went wrong. So hopefully we can get that figured out. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, Sass Dutch Kid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.